Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be resetting your Mac to factory settings. That means we're gonna wipe everything from it, all the pictures, all the information that you guys have in it, and then reinstalling the OS on it in order to be back to factory settings. It doesn't really matter if you guys have a Mac Pro, Mac Mini, even a MacBook Air, it's all gonna be the same thing as this iMac that we're resetting back to factory settings. The first step is to shut down your Mac. So make sure it's shut down. And then before we even turn it on, I want you guys to press Command R. So that's Command R, okay? So we're just gonna press those two, and then we're gonna turn on our Mac. So keep holding on to those, and we're just gonna turn on our Mac. So again, it doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, as long as you guys are pressing this. Keep holding on to Command R until you guys see this, the Apple logo plus a loading bar. Once you see the loading bar go a little bit, or even halfway, then let go of Command R. That's to make sure that you guys press Command R long enough and make sure to press that and keep that press even before you turn on your Mac. The next step we're gonna see is to select your language. So that's right after the Apple logo and the loading bar, once that's full, just select English or whichever language you guys want. Hit right here on the arrow. So I'm picking the very first language and then we have this. Now this is the important part because what we want to do is not just reinstall the Mac OS, but we're gonna go to Disk Utility and erase everything, everything from your Mac. So Disk Utility, which is your fourth option right there. So we're just gonna click right there on Disk Utility, click on Continue. Once we click on Continue, we're gonna see this. Now we have to make sure to be looking at these two things. So don't select this option, which is the second option right here. What you guys want to do is select the very first option where it says internal and then Macintosh HD. Most likely that's the name of your HD, no matter what Mac you guys have. And from here, what you want to do is click on erase. So that's your third option right here. So you guys have first date, partition, and then erase. So select erase, and that's the main option that you guys want to select right now. And that means we're gonna delete everything from within your Mac. And make sure these settings are exactly as you guys see them right here. So it's very important that your format is AP, FS. Don't select anything else. Most likely that's going to come up right away as you guys are doing this. So just make sure to keep it as is. For the name, you guys could change it for it, anything really that you guys want, but I suggest just keeping it as is. And then we're just going to hit erase, okay? And then that's going to delete everything from your Mac and it's going to wipe it clean. This process might take a little bit. It really depends which Mac you guys have. If you guys have an, a Mac that has an SSD, then this will be really fast. If this is a Fusion drive, well, it's gonna be kind of slow because you guys have a regular hard drive plus an SSD in there. So it's not gonna be the fastest thing in the world. However, it all depends which Mac you guys have. You can also see details if you click on here to see what's happening exactly. And yes, it's gonna delete everything, even your Mac OS. So that's why we're gonna have to reinstall that. So after a bit, we're gonna see this. It should say done. And we can just click on done. And that means there's nothing. As you guys can see, it tells you used 1.28 gigs, free, 700. That, that's okay, because this is the second option. We're gonna click on Macintosh HD. And this is where we have to see used 20 kilobytes, other nine gigs, blah, blah, free. 3.11 terabytes. So that's because that's the amount of my Mac. Your Mac might be smaller or even bigger, who knows? But this is the way to do it. And remember, you guys had to pick the very first option, which is internal. So from here, what we're gonna do is just hit this to close it up, all right? So that's the top left-hand side. There's that red button, let's just click right there. And then we should see this screen back up. Now this screen is very important because we're, what we're gonna do right here is reinstall the OS. Now, before we reinstall, because that's the very last step, I want to take you back to Disk Utility. So I'm just gonna go back to Disk Utility and show you something. So Macintosh HD, the very first option. I'm gonna click on Erase again. And I just wanted to show you some options right here. If we actually click right here, we should see this encrypted and all that. So if you wanted to encrypt your 
hard drive or anything like that from here, you guys can do it. Okay, so you guys could change this up if you wanted to. However, for most of you, since you're just doing the basics, we're just gonna do this, okay? So just wanted to show you that because I didn't show you in the very first option because I didn't want you guys messing around with that. So we're just gonna go back and right here, we're gonna reinstall Mac OS. So for this part, we have to make sure that you guys have Wi-Fi. So on the top right hand side of your Mac, you guys will see your Wi-Fi signal. Just make sure you're connected to some internet. So right here, I can see I'm connected. If you guys are not connected, you will have problems and it's just not gonna happen. So that's the fix for that. Just make sure you guys have Wi-Fi working. And from there, we're just gonna click on continue and make sure to set this up. If you guys don't set this up, then it's not good if you're selling your Macs. Usually if you're selling your Mac and that's why you're doing this, then we need your Mac to be working. So we're just gonna continue on. And don't worry, you don't have to set up your, your iCloud ID or anything like that. You guys can just go ahead and import just the Mac OS, but not any of your personal information. And that's why we're doing this. So we're just gonna click on agree. We're gonna select, yep, this guy, install, next step. So once again, we're not importing any of your personal information, although we're using kind of your ID right now to install the Mac OS. The person who buys your Mac should actually do this process again, okay? So you can tell them you should restore it back to factory settings, although it's already done like that. And once again, don't worry, none of your personal information is gonna go back into this Mac OS, especially what I'm showing you right now and how I'm gonna show you to install everything because you guys should have your Mac working when you're selling it, if that's why you're watching this video. So after a bit, once that's done, you guys are gonna see this Apple logo loading bar. It's gonna tell you some time remaining. At this point, it's telling me seven minutes remaining. It could be less or more. After that, it's gonna be a black screen, another Apple logo in this loading bar. At this point, we are done restoring. We're just gonna set up the Mac brand new, okay? So this is going back to factory settings. Now from here, you guys can choose any country you would like. It doesn't really matter where. In this case, we're gonna scroll down till we see Canada, it can be the US as well, wherever you guys are at. You guys can set up any keyboard you would like. I'm just gonna leave it as US. I'm gonna go next, I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi, which is tech and design. After that, we're gonna see this screen, data and privacy, just go on continue. Once again, we are setting this Mac from new, so we're not transferring anything, but this would be the point where you could transfer anything to your Mac from your time machine or from anywhere really. But this video is about going back to factory settings, setting up everything fresh. So we're not gonna transfer anything, we're gonna continue on. Like I mentioned in the start, you do not have to set up anything with your Apple ID. So what we're gonna choose is up here, set up later. However, if you guys want to put some of your stuff, personal stuff, then just go ahead and put in your Apple ID. So what I'm gonna do is just select up here, where it says set up later. I'm gonna put in skip. Next is our terms and conditions. I'm gonna go on to agree. Agree once again. And then it's the name. This doesn't matter too much if you're selling your Mac. So I'm just gonna call this iMac. Same thing goes with account name. Password. Right now, you should put in a password. However, I'm gonna show you how to take that off just in case you guys are watching this because you are selling your Mac. So, because you don't wanna sell it with any type of password. I'm gonna just put a random password in right now. Nothing that actually makes sense. And then we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna take out that password because you never want to sell your Mac with any password. Even if you guys just made up the password right now, don't do it. We're just gonna click on continue. Then, yeah, this part, it's up to you guys, go for light mode or dark mode. I'm gonna choose dark mode because I just like dark mode. And that's the only reason I'm choosing that, but it all depends on you. So as you can see, you do not need to import any of your personal information in order to set up your Mac. The very last thing, like I told you guys, we're gonna take out our password. That means going to system preferences, which is down here below. Hopefully you guys can see this. I know it's very small, very hard to see. So I'm trying to tell you everything I'm clicking on. So it's system preferences. And from here, 
I can just go into user and groups, which is in the bottom left hand side, and then here's your Mac. I'm gonna put in, see this lock on the left hand side, the bottom left hand side? Just click right there, unlock this, unlock this using the password we just created. And then we're gonna click on change password. Once you guys click on change password, just put in the old one that we just set up. I'm gonna leave the new one as nothing, nothing, nothing in there, just nothing, okay? Change password, continue, and we're done. There is no password. From here, you guys can just close that up. If you close this lock, for example, and unlock it again, you will see that it comes out and it's asking you for a password. However, like I mentioned, we just took out the password. So we can just click on unlock. And there we go. There is no password. So I just want to show you that, that it's fully working. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.